today on MT Jam Pack, we're getting stuck into a bunch more packs for patrons. We have War of the Spark, Ravnica, Allegiance, and Zendikar Rising set boosters. So let's introduce the patrons here. We have Hein Ruguld and a bunch of new patrons. Irish Coaster Fan, JC Lonesen, and finally Roma CM. Thank you for being patrons. Okay, so we're going to grab one here, war and set booster over here, a set booster, whoop, war is part here, and then one, two, three, four, okay, so let's uh, intersperse things like so, for Hein Rogild, so there we go, let's get cracking, we'll start off here, and I fling the pack around, Irish Coaster fan, sorry about your pack, but it's fine. Thank you for being a patron. Any patrons get the rares, mythics, foils, and anything over a buck. So boost set lighting. Starting off here with Gideon's Sacrifice to Fairy's Time Twist, Grim Initiate. Return to Nature, Kaya's Ghost Form, Enforcer Griffin, Jaya's Greeting, Unlikely Aid, Avon Eternal, Sarkhan's Catharsis, and Uncommon's Bleeding Edge. Tenth District Legionnaire. Nahiri Storm of Stone. I'll chuck that in as well. And Enter the God Eternals. Sorcery for five. Enter the God Eternals. Deals four damage to target creature. And you gain life equal to the damage dealt this way. Target player puts top four cards of their library into their graveyard. And a mass four. Okay. And an island. And Zombie Army. I'll chuck that in as well. So you can amass your Zombie Army. And stay tuned, later in the month we'll have the Patron Snap Packs, always a fun time. Moving on here, JC Loans, and thank you for being a Patron. So, more War of the Spark. Okay, we got War Screecher, Ashiok Skulker, Invading Manticore, Bulwark Giant, Force Landing, Vampire Opportunist, Divine Arrow, Wall of Runes, Arlen's Wolf, Iron Bully, Evolution Sage for the Uncommon's Price of Betrayal, Dovin Hand of Control, and the rare is Feather the Redeemed, Legendary Creature Angel 3 4 for 3 with flying. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell that targets creature you control, exile that card instead of putting it into your graveyard as it resolves. If you do return it to your hand at the beginning of the next end step. And a planes and zombie army, and you get a zombie army, and you get a zombie army, moving on to. The Zendikar Rising set booster here. Okay, so Tazri, Beacon of Loyalty, am I correct? Yes, I am. Fantastic. I get a no prize. A mountain. And negate. Nahiri's Binding, Pressure Point, Disenchant, Shatter Skull, Minotaur, Rockslide Sorcerer, Dreadworm, Showcase, Cliffhaven, Cell Sword, Drainer's Silencer, and the rare is Charix the Raging Isle, Legendary Creature, Leviathan Crab, 0, 017 for 4. So suppose your opponent's cast at target, Charix Raging Isle costs 2 more to cast for 3. He gets plus X, minus X, and 200 turn where X is the number of islands you control. A foil showcase, Dreadworm, and from the list, nice one, from Mirage, Cadaverous Knight, Summon Knight, 2 2 for 3, has flanking, and 1 and 2 black regenerate. Grieve for the soul in Death Dishonored, Shadow Guild saying. Some very cool artwork on that one. So fantastic to see something from the list now and then. Okay, next up we have Roma CM. Thank you for being a patron. So another set booster on the way for you. So, some demon of something rather, what is he? Tabarak's Hope's Demise, okay. A Mountain Expedition Champion, Dauntless Survivor, Grotag, Bug Catcher Creature, Goblin Warrior, Tajuru Snarecaster, and what is happening here? The Muppet Hands in full effect, Expedition Skulker, Veteran Adventurer, Zoff Consumption, on the other side we've got the Zoff Bloodbog Tazim Raptor, and the rare is Tajuru Paragon, Creature Elf 3242. So it's also a Cleric, Rogue, Warrior, and Wizard. Kicker 3, 
So when it ends today, for default, it's kicked. Reveal the top six cards of your library. You may put a card that shows a creature type with it from among them into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. And nice one. Another rare here. Nissa of Shadowed Bows. So legendary planeswalker Nissa. It's a mythic. Four loyalty for four. As landfall, whenever land and spade for it under your control, put a loyalty can on Nissa of Shadow Bows. Her plus one on tap target land you control. You may have it become a 3 3 elemental creature with haste and menace until end of turn. It's still a land. Minus five. You may put a creature card with command mana cost less than or equal to the number of lands you control onto the battlefield from your hand or graveyard with two plus one plus one counters on it. And another rare. Holy moly. A foil undo inversion sorcery for eight. Destroy all non land permanents. And on the other side, onto Sky Ruins, it's land and spadeful tap, tap up for white. And what is the list? Yes, we caught a peek at some of that earlier. So enjoy the pools there, pop those in there. And lucky last, a very hungry gentleman indeed, it is Hein Rogild. Thank you for being a patron, getting stuck into more set boosters. Okay, so this looks like, I'm going to say an island, is it Flooded Strand? Okay, uh, close enough. Mountain and Scorch Rider, Blood Beckoning, Field Research into the Royal, Mind Carver, Lull Mage's Domination, Tangled Florahedron on the other side, Tangled Veil, Gouldra's Mucklord Creature Crocodile, Seafloor Stalker, and the rare Ondu Inversion, so we saw that one a moment ago. Good deal. And a foil rare, Nahiri's Lothoforming Sorcery for X and 2 red. Sacrifice X lands for each land, sacrifice this way, draw a card. You may play X additional lands this turn, lands you control, enter the battlefield, tap this turn. And a Core Warrior token onto Ravnica Allegiance. So we are hoping for Shocklands here, or a Hydroid Crisis or Smothering Tithe, I think are the big hitters. Alright, we have Arrest of Zeal, Slime Bind, Savage Smash, Thirsting Shade, Stony Strength, Gateway Plaza, Debtor's Transport, Simic Locket, Grasping Thrall, Syndicate Messenger, and the Uncommon's Hacrobat, Rumbling Ruin. Clan Good Mage, and the rare is Rick's Mighty Reveler, Creature Human Shaman, 2-2 two, two for 2, Spectacle 2, a black and red. When it enters the field, discard a card, then draw a card. If it's Spectacle cost was paid, instead discard your hand, then draw 3 cards. Crazy Skull, or I should say Flaming Skull juggling action there, Gruel Guildgate. And a Spirit Token, and I don't know what is happening with the Muppet Hands today, Zendikar Rising, Set Booster. I'm like flinging stuff around left and right. Okay, so this is Swamp. Yes, got it. Oh, look at that island, full art, nice one. Pressure point. Disenchant, Territorial Side Cat, Kazandu Nectar Pot, Cleansing Wildfire, Lull Mages Familiar, Skyclave Pickaxe, Showcase Resolute Strike, and the rare is Charix. Fancy seeing you again, sir. Okay, and Skyclave Relic, second rare, artifact for three, kick of three, indestructible. When it enters the battlefield, if it was kit, create two tap tokens that are copies of Skyclave Relic. Tap to add one mana of any color, a foil, ghastly gloom hunter, and goblin lore from the list. Sorcery for two, draw four cards and put them into your hand. Then discard three cards at random from your hand. Nice one. Okay, so moving on to Allegiance. Alright, we have Prowling Caracal, Humongulus, Storm Strike, Civic Stalwart, Plague White, Summary Judgment, Cerule Caretaker, Chillbringer, Rubble Reading, Rally to Battle, Sunder Shaman, Regenesis. And yes, a Shockland Blood Crypt Land Swamp Mountain Tap for black or red. As it enters the battlefield, you may pay to life if you don't. It enters the battlefield tapped. And a Foil Macabre Mockery with a Gruel Guildgate and some Ooze. And I'll chuck that in. And did anyone happen to catch my Prime Slime Secret Lair unboxing? I'll chuck a link in the corner in case you missed that one. Some crazy artwork. 
from the Wizard of Barge. Okay, so this, um, some core warrior, I have no idea honestly. Core Celebrant, yes, a Swamp. Turn Timber Ascetic Living Tempest, negate. Nahiri's Binding, Roost of Drakes, Bloodsheep's Thirst, Territorial Sidecat, Drainer's Silencer, and Thieving Skydiver is a rare creature. Mofoat Rogue 2 1 for 2 with Kicker X. X can't be 0, has flying when it enters the battlefield if it was kicked. Gain control target artifact with command around across X or less. If that artifact's in equipment, attach it to Thieving Skydiver. And a Crawling Barons. Nice one. Land, it's another rare. Tapped, add colors mana, pay 4. Put two plus one plus one counters on Crawling Barons, then you may have it become a zero zero elemental creature into end of turn. It's still a land. Zendikar is restless. And a foil resolute strike and magic minigame booster blitz. And a Drake on the other side. That's interesting. I thought normally those um, were double sided. Okay, so Allegiance up next. So if we can pull, uh, let's see, two more shocks in this video. We got Rubble Slinger, Arrest of Zeal, Shimmer of Possibility, Feral Marker, Under City's Embrace, Gift of Strength, Footlight Fiend, Open the Gates, Senate Griffin, Catacomb Croc, He'll Bite Your Arm Off, Clamor Shaman, Creature Goblin Shaman. We got a split card here, Incubation and Incongruity. Cry of the Carnarium, and the rare is Gutter Bones. Creature Skeleton Warrior 2 1 for a single black. And it's battlefield tapped for one and a black. Returning from your graveyard to your hand, activate the spell, only during your turn, and only if an opponent lost life this turn. Wars of Guildgate and a Beast Token. Okay, I want to do another Allegiance here. See if we can get another shot. Come on, let's do it. Okay, we got Humongulus. Storm Strike, Civic Stalwart, Stony Strength, Skipping Cards again, Under City's Embrace, Syndicate Messenger, Clear the Mind, Rafter Demon, Skewer the Critics, Blade Brand, Uncommon's Pitiless Pontiff, Skatewing Spy, Gatebreaker Ram, and a Mythic, Mesmerizing Benthid, Creature Octopus 4555, so when it ends Badfield, create two, zero two blue illusion creature tokens, with whenever this creature blocks a creature, that creature doesn't untap during its controls next untap step. Mesmerizing Benthid has Hexproof as long as you control an illusion. And Azoria Skillgate and Beast Token. Okay, last pack, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings, and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. And Jace has just had enough maddening cacophony. We've got a Forest Royal Eruption. Let's get some focus here. Relic Vial, Spring Mantle Cleric, Grotag Knight Runner, Creature Goblin Rogue, Scion of the Swarm, Sure Footed Infiltrator, Drari Disruption. On the other side, we've got the Drari Ruins, Prowling Felida, Broken Wings, and the rare is Phyleth World Sculpt, a legendary creature elemental 5546. So when it ends Badfield, create a 0-1 green plant creature token for each basic land you control has landfall. Whenever land ends Badfield under your control, put 4 plus 1 plus 1 counters on target plant you control. A foil to Juru Snarecaster. And <laughs> what a finish. Amiboy Changeling, creature shapeshifter for 2. What on earth is that set symbol if you know? Leave a note in the comments. So it has Changeling. This card is every creature type at all times. Tap target creature gains all creature types until end of turn. Tap target creature loses all creature types until end of turn. That is a pretty crazy card. Okay, so there we go. Enjoy the pulls there, Pine. Let's pop it back in here for you. I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.